Okay, so welcome to the motherfucking Taylor White show. We've been planning this tour for a couple months now to go talk to a couple cities in Washington about self-help and self-care, self-love. There's been a lot of confusion whether it's happening, not happening, who's going, who's not going. At the end of the day, I have nothing but love and no hate in my heart. Um, it is a shitty situation though, and I it sucks that I can't go planned as original. Um, but that's not gonna stop me or what I'm doing or my message and I'm gonna come get lit no matter fucking what. Alexa, play Pandora. Get out my way, get out my face. Hey, take your picture, then I'm gonna go in my eye. Get out my way, get out my face. Hey, take your picture, then I'm gonna go in my eye, yeah. Me and my bros throwing house parties every night. We got them bad bitches going off like fight night. I need to find some ranch dressing. Do people smoke up out here as much as they do out in LA? Yeah, I'll light up a blunt wherever I'm at. I don't care. Excuse me? Um, do you know where I can find some ranch dressing, like Hidden Valley? <laughs> he doesn't like ranch. Hot mama's pizza! Hot mama's pizza! Dad, yeah, pizza and it's green. A green pizza? Oh, hot it's mama's. So, it's so fire. You guys have ranch? No. Wait, really? Correct. You, you actually have ranch? He's been talking about he wants ranch all day. Oh my, what kind is it? Is that it, man? Hit it, hit it, Valley. Valley. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my gosh, she has the whole bottle. I just like give it to him. This is how you do it. <laughs> I'm having bad anxiety. I don't know what You're I'm like... doing. I'm just kind of low-key freaking out. Why? Because I'm not like a doctor. It's like, I'm out here fucking having anxiety about telling people how to deal with their anxiety. Like, how do you deal with like being stressed out and like dealing with like anxiety like on a day-to-day -day basis? I just try to not let it get to me and I try to just try to keep myself happy, you know, and at the end of the day it doesn't matter, like tomorrow's a new day and mm. I know it'll be better. Well, I just want to talk to all of you to make sure that we're all on, on the same page today yeah. because tonight's camp been yeah. wild. Yeah. I keep saying I got this because I feel like I do. Like if, if it's like less people, we can just kind of do like a little bit more intimate and just kind of get a little bit closer. I'd rather just be close to them the whole yeah. time. I don't want to be on stage. You grew up in this area, kind of. How did you choose your career path? I like started taking pictures, you know? It's just very freeing to find something that gets you out of your head to its like escape whatever's going on. I feel really lucky to be able to have found that outlet. Oh. Seriously. We gotta smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> More people came than I thought. Honestly, I didn't I didn't know what to expect. I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Like I literally have no clue. I didn't care if like three people showed up, I was still gonna come. Day one was good. Bro, I'm starving. You got some salmon? Someone? Seven. I met someone. <laughs> some, you met someone down met the street? Someone, you give me some marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga in jeans? Yeah. You know, you gotta roll with the chair. 
That's a great mentality, my man. Look, we're hosting um, a self-help uh, seminar if you'd like to stay and join. If not... Thank you. Yep, no problem. Another yoga attendee. What She's time was yoga? Is, yeah, do you guys want to oh, go to yes, the other room? By all means, we're just using the living room area. Well, duh. Okay, yeah. well, perfect. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry, I'm Caleb, by the way. Hello, I'm Caleb. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, it's yoga. It's pretty much what we're, go we're, we're going to each city and asking people um, uh -huh. just about how they deal with stress and anxiety or <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because um, everybody's different and like, and, and like, if you know yourself, you know what works for you. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And uh, I guess we're, I'm trying to see like how everybody responds and how everybody reacts to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Before, yeah. I smoke a lot of weed. You know, we're just kind of hearing people's testimonies, like whatever, like their own experience. Into this topic, I guess, like to be honest right now, I feel a little bit of anxiety. I don't like know any of you guys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Really like we're all here for the same reason, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think the hardest part about being a dancer is? Strippers, I feel like most people just assume like we dance around a pole and that's our job. Which, it is our job, but it's a very small fraction of what we actually do. And I'd say on a weekly basis, I'll at least have one customer and a good majority of the time these are people that I do not know. Um, they'll cry to me, like to tell me their stories and just cry to me. And so when you're dealing with people that are just like unloading all their personal stuff on you all the time, like it, I mean, it, it weighs on you after a while. And so mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I danced on a pole too. But I also like sit and I listen to people's stories and I listen to it, they're like, you know, I feel like the strip club for a lot of people is a weak state. Like, yeah. you know, they can't. Um, strip therapy? Totally. Strip therapy is a real fucking thing. It wasn't until you said it that that's when I started to realize, like, people do, like, cope in such weird ways. Totally. Like, in, like, the most, like, yeah. abstract ways. And, like, yeah, you never put two and two together until you, like, said that, but... coming um it means a lot to us what do you think is stressing you out so much my dad what do you mean what's going on uh he has eight hundred thousand dollars in forgery he's in prison for eight years how long how long has he been in uh, two two years yeah. that's kind of stressing you out yeah, like, you man, I, I live with him the longest too and it's like i didn't know he's doing that stuff behind my back mm -hmm. and his, he had me try meth when i was 10. Mm -hmm. I, I was smoking meth when i was 10 and something i didn't want to do like i didn't know what i was doing mm -hmm. You can't help like the situation, like the situation that you're born into. You can't help them at all. You know what I mean? Like it sucks right now, but it's not always going to be like that. You know what I mean? And all the things that like you wish were different about your upbringing, you have. It's, it's your responsibility to make sure that you see it through. So I be, I be mixing my cup. Hoes like me, cause they know my blow up. Got these fucking bills just for me to show up. All up on my bed, I got rushes to throw up. Heavy on me, ain't gon' lie, you lookin' nice. People tell me what to do in my life. Thank you, but I don't need advice. I just change my lookin' for the night. I just cop, I don't worry about no prices. I'm faded, but girl, you was priceless. You was spending. I don't even know what the fuck happened. You gonna ice that shit out though? Oh, I'm gonna get all fucking grills. I'm just gonna fuck it. Hi. What was your favorite part of the toy? My favorite part? Everything. It was lit. <laughs> Thank you so fucking much to anyone who came out. We made it happen. It was beautiful. It was the most amazing experience I think I've ever had or had been a part of. I feel like low key I'm glowing. And I hope to do it again one day. Shout out to Dami and Caleb for making it happen. I can't wait to do it again and to take over. So, till next time. This ain't Taylor no more. This Tay Tay, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs>